one owner car guy and I'll tell you what this has to be one of my favorite years here when it gets the boxy tail lights in this rounder body style this here is a 1993 Chevrolet Corvette Coupe it's got the target top the see-through plastic glass one awesome car I love these what are they LS one in these years or LT one one or the other one um, and just peppy snotty high gas mileage on the highway fun to drive and just sporty as can be this is a one owner 1993 Chevrolet and Corvette and it only has 153 or so on it it's in great shape I'm gonna do the once around and kind of show you the once around and then I'll go up close and show you any damages and such kind of like them checks in the hood there you see these are the ultimate muscle investment daily driver car for the money I mean good gas mileage good value fully depreciated full-on sports car room to go up in value Corvettes notoriously bottom out and people give them all away and then they realize they want them back and pay four or five times six times what they gave them away for or more so it's kind of a once around and I'm gonna go up close here and show you any of the minor flaws here in a second I'll show you the inside we'll go on a test drive I'll show you the underneath and all that good stuff my name's Nathan it's 406 544 6919 you can reach me anytime www.oneownercarguy.com and I've got lots of unique one and two owner clean classic Euro muscle cars you name it and I sell them cheap and I love cars it's just mostly for fun I make vitamins and marshmallows sell them for a living um, you can check out my marshmallow site at www.cerealmarshmallows.com same crunchy marshmallows as in your morning breakfast cereal but with no yucky cereal that mess you up. If you look on this car, there's a couple little chips. I just realized when I walked up to it that this is my second video. I um, took the whole thing and then I had the card get corrupted or something. I think the camera did it. And here I am doing it with the same damn camera. Wheels, the chrome is pitting and coming off in a couple areas, as you can see there wheel wells look just nice as it gets hopefully that shows just beautiful um, going down the sides nice as it gets a little chewed up on that piece there and your window sweep there is cracked like they sometimes get now for the paint the hood took the brunt of whatever happened here and the clear coat is coming off the hood and then patches you can see but it's got these checks that started. I guess you'd call, you call it whatever you want. These lines that are showing non-paint. And it's kind of all over the hood. Now this piece, just because of how they get, because of lightly doing something, should be repainted as well. But just this top piece here, and even the sides are good, but you'd want to repaint that to where you couldn't tell. And just repaint that hood. And if you want to get picky, do this one too right to there and you can just paint this panel to the door line there and it'll be fine now the rest of the car as you can see just looks great and needs nothing a couple little tree sap or chips and such but that's it um, the other piece is slightly faded is this one this is see-through all I see is me so it's not a see-through this is the painted top I said see-through at the beginning it's not that piece is lightly faded a bit it looks good. This car's straight. The car's not all cracked up or anything. But it does need that hood taken care of. Now why wouldn't a guy do a hood like that? That's selling a car. And does it for a living. Well, it's just the people I have working and me around. And it takes me to actually go around and do most of this stuff. And to take it to a shop and do it. I gotta charge you for the people. A little scuff right there. Where the paint came off at the bottom. And next thing you know, I'm into it for more, I'm charging more, this, that, and the other. Meanwhile, there's a guy that wants to paint it and can save money and do it for 100 bucks of material in a little time. I mean, this is only a three to $500 problem. Um, problem is, that three to $500 problem takes me time to run around and do. I gotta mark it up another 100, 150 for my guy to sit around, drop cars off, you name it. I just leave it. 
Uh, most of the time, I just don't do nothing to them like that. Love the tail lights on these little something scuffy chip right there. It's in great shape. I don't think I showed you under the front. I think she can get around. Underneath is beautiful. Rear diff has been apart there. She might want to talk. I'm going to have to go. There you go. It's great. You can see gasket juice coming out on it. We're going to take off and get down the street here and out of her way. Go on the test drive now. What that low level light adjustment? 151907. Oh man, they were all on to show you that everything worked, but now they're off. Ride control light stays on. And you do have the adjustable stuff in this here. Change oil lights on. Um, and your little hands free thing here. Don't know if you'll leave that. Well, I wasn't even focused on it. But I left it for now. Right up to 32, 33, like it ain't no thing. And speed limit's 40. So I usually, not usually, I keep it under that. But I usually keep it down to about 38 or so. Downshift, the upshift is fine, right to 40 in heartbeat. Uh, beautiful car, drives nice. I love the way they ride, very sporty feeling. When it comes to muscle cars and such, there is a big difference on a Corvette. It does break the sports car realm and give you that different feel and ride that's just cooler. And when you get into these years, man, you've got a newer car. I've redid Chevelle Super Sports, GTO, 68 Firebirds, and 78 Firebirds. I've got 35 of the 76 through 81 still. But nothing beats a mid-90s sports car. Really, I mean, you just can't beat them. Uh, 420 SEL coming up there, actually. Oh, there's the back of my dad's bull shipper. You can see the stacks on it. SL coming up, Buick Wagon, or uh, Old Wagon I just passed. That's going to be for sale, my mom's Mercedes. We've got her a new car now, and she's going to be selling that one. Okay, that right there. Okay, options. That works. That one works. Windows work. You got all kinds of fuel info you can do between kilometers and miles per gallon and different stuff. Oh, you can even get the gauges going on. That's pretty cool at the bottom there. Ah, pretty cool. Voltage. And the stereo works great. Let's see this. And then I think that's every way. Then mine or yours. Forward, backward. Works great. And it's gonna smoke your car owner car. Try and open that door. 
Okay, close it. Open the door. Okay, thanks. You see it's a little slow? You hit it twice and it locks. It needs to be looped. Or if you hold it, it does it. If not, it... You can see they're already working better. Boom. So, that's that. Ooh. I wish I'd have known where the ASR traction control button was. I'm gonna turn that off. Then we could have had a real test drive. Okay, I'm gonna pop the hood here. Now, the car is just clean as can be. And like I say, your tour ride, sport ride, performance ride is all there. Um, oh yeah, there you go. I think the starter might have a little bit of a thing going on. It kind of sounds like that every once in a while when you start it. And the AC blows hard as can be, but it's just not that cold. It's all hooked up and it's not all messed up, but... Beautiful. I want to try the horn, but I don't want to do it with my with people in the house. I think somebody might be taking a nap. Door panels are in great shape. Seats are in great shape. That low level light adjustment hit. And you can see right here a small tear on the crease. And a little bit of wear on this lumbar support. Now I could get this replaced if you wanted cheaply. Um, but I'm just selling it like it is, like I say. Pedals are in great shape, no wear. A little wear on that carpet right there, a little hole where your foot would sit. Uh, emergency brake and all. Leaning part of the seat works. And, oh yeah, they're up here on this year. Rear hatch there. Such. Is this one open? I don't know on this year. I'm going to say no. Although it seems like it does. It's hinged. Oh, that one's tied down. That's your battery. Okay, it's bolted in. No, it's not your battery. It's a computer in there? Huh. Okay, does this button work? Not without the key on. Does it work with the key on? No, it does not. I love it. Show you the stuff that doesn't work and you can see it all. Oh, look at the little Corvette on it, by the way. Now, where and how people open that up to clean, I have no idea, because I forget how to open one of these without a, a door pop. And I locked myself out, because I was showing you the lock. There we go. Can you open it? It's in the center. It's in the center? Mm -hmm. Well, that worked perfectly. I guess that would be how. And this is supposed to be a hatch button. It says on it, but at the same time... Oh, this is a little loose, by the way. It needs a screw right there, but the screw ends are kind of broken on it. Great shape. Um, had a note here about this button. Be sure to push this button after removing keys to turn off power or battery will drain. 
Now we replaced the battery, and I believe it was an alternator issue on this one, and it don't seem to be draining. We've not got no drains on it, so I think we fixed that. Uh, and this car just runs out nice. And a little split in that piece. Seals are all good around it. Looks great. Door panel on this side, great condition. Seat on this side, you don't have a couple little tears like you did on the other side. Simply because it's used le less. Um, old school phone, baby. Diamond tail. You got more watts going down the road in that phone than you do in your stereo, maybe. I don't know. Clean car, tight car. It almost opens by itself, as they should with the proper strutage under them. Strutage! Strutage.com. Huh. Better buy that. Mobile One synthetic motor oil. Factory fill. Car's clean, clean and mean. Yoko Mama tires with all kinds of titties on the side. <laughs> I'll tell you what, about two weeks ago I was sitting on my back porch, all of a sudden I got a text, I looked down, somebody texted me a nudie picture with some big old titties. Holy smokes, I said. And I set her up, I said, what did, what did I do to deserve that? Are you the good luck booby girl or something? And she laughed and said, no, no. She watches all my videos and knows that I like titties on tires and that I'm always feeling them there and thought I'd like to see some of them. Well, I'm not going to argue with the woman. I enjoyed seeing them and they were very nice titties and such. This is full on, full on nudie nude. Cool stuff. Told her I'd always remember my first titty thing that got sent to me. I mean, that's like getting panties thrown on the stage or something. That's awesome. As I lose five subscribers right now while I'm telling the story. Unsubscribe! Unsubscribe! This guy's sick! It wasn't me. All I did was receive the picture. So, if she's, if she says she watches all my videos. So if you're watching, great picture. Send them whenever you get feeling to. I don't, I don't mind. You can send them any day of the week. Monday, you can send it one way. Tuesday, you can send it a whole different way. I, I don't care. Would you believe that I have the keys in my pocket? Hoot, hoot. Can't beat that. And just around here, in a day-to-day -day thing, you wouldn't imagine the way a little issue, like showing a car and having the pictures go like this, could just make the day go real bad real quick when it's locked in the only spot you can do the interiors. So, I'm gonna back this bad boy up, turn that down to where you can hear me, get you kind of an outro, an outro. And that's about that. My name's Nathan, it's 406-544-6919. Cup holders in this year, I love that. You can reach me anytime. I'm going to take these keys with me. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. And, man, that's about all I can show you on this car. My name's Nathan, 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. Import, export, I'll ship it to your port. Any port in the world. Cheap. 1350 to 1950 anywhere. Um... Between a hundred bucks up to nine ninety five, usually anywhere in the U.S. Um, if I bummed you out with the titty story, I'm sorry. I really no, I'm not. It was cool, and that's about all there is to it. Oh, and I hope I showed this. I'm gonna right now. He ran over some paint and got it right there, right there. And you can actually get it off. You sit there and chip away at it with a little goo gone and your fingernail. Um, I just left it. I leave a few of these things to where you have something to do. Wouldn't want you sit at home bored on a weekend. I got work for you. Buy something that needs just a little bit, save some big money. We'll see you.